Okay guys, so before we get into talking about the underperformance of Star Wars The Last Jedi, let me just say, I love the movie. If you guys have been following me on social media, I haven't wanted to do a review, and I'm not going to just because I know it's going to go to hell in the comments, but I want to talk about what this movie's perceived like, the underperformance by many, what might have caused this, and also the big factors into it. Now, like I said, let me make this clear once again. This movie is by no means a box office bomb like some people are spinning it to be. This film, in one weekend, made what Justice League made in its entire theatrical run. So, don't worry about that. This movie has already made its entire budget back and it's in the pure profit range now. But we're here to actually talk about the expectations for this movie going into it, what the realistic expectations were, and why it might be underperforming to some degree. So essentially what's happening is this movie isn't doing as good as The Force Awakens, which honestly the moment I say that, I think many of you can agree and kind of go, yeah, it was never going to. I mean, The Force Awakens had a literally a decade plus of buildup going towards it. And not only that, it's had since Return of the Jedi that build up to what is the next chapter for these characters. This film is the middle chapter of a trilogy, and of course the next one, episode 9, is going to be giant. That one is going to be huge because it's ending the Skywalker saga. So this one already had the unfortunate step of being the middle chapter. Much like in a comic book series, the middle chapters always typically do less. So if we compare it to that, this was kind of expected. Now, many people themselves expected this movie to make more than The Force Awakens, which it never was going to. The estimates by Disney, from what I've seen, were always $1.6 billion. So it looks like it's still on track for that, although it did have a significant drop-off in its second weekend. But this can also be attributed to due to the fact that a lot of people go and see a movie on Christmas. The Force Awakens second weekend was on Christmas, so there was a lot of people going on that day. This movie, The Last Jedi, was on a Monday, which, when you look at Christmas and you look at a Monday, it doesn't line up for the box office weekend. So you have to account for a four-day box office weekend, and then the 69 to 70% drop goes down to a 52 to a 54. It hasn't been made official 100% which one of those two it was. It takes usually a couple of like weeks to get the full numbers and everything to be verified. But that's quite a substantial not like discrepancy in there in the drops people are reporting, right? It's like 18 to 20% possibly. So was it a failure? In some degree, I guess it underperformed, but in others, it's definitely doing exactly what it needed to. So currently by estimates, it looks like it's going to hit around 1.6 billion worldwide, which is exactly what Disney seems to have been predicting the movie was going to do. So if you're looking at that, and the movie needed to make over 600 million, to be able to put up a profit, it's already close to $800 million, which means it's already turned $200 million profit minus the theatrical cut. So it's already made like $150 million in profit. And by the time it hits $1.6 billion, it will have made close to seven to $800 million in profit for Disney. So is it a box office failure and an underperformer? In some ways, yes, because it definitely is because it's not living up to The Force Awakens, but once again, nothing was going to live up to The Force Awakens, especially a second movie out of a trilogy. Now, when we look at the fan reaction, could that have impacted the overall performance of it? Maybe, but I don't think we're going to discuss that in this video, because that's a whole nother topic.